and Antiochus has to now send people into the countryside to sort this thing out. So you can wonder, you can see Antiochus, go, you know, what the heck is going on? You know, I put one, you put you in charge and now the city's being burned down. What What is going on? And, and from Antiochus's point of view, these are religious nut jobs causing the problem. What is he going to do? Well, we're, we're going to just ban the things that indicate that you are, that indicate that you are a member of this kind of religious extremist group. And I say religious extremist group because, uh, you know, talking from the perspective of the Seleucids who just want a quiet, peaceful countryside where everybody can continue to purchase their Greek goods, where things can flow back and forth, where the tax collector can just work and get his money. He's not putting his finger on the pulse and understanding what's actually happening. So from his perspective, there's just some nut jobs running around and we need to stamp them out. And in order to do that, we prevent them from doing the things that make them identify themselves and force them to become and accept this Greek culture that's allowing taxes and goods and stuff to flow back and forth in and around the countryside. So to enforce this new thing, and these are the laws that Antiochus implements, the banning of circumcision, punishable by death if you circumcise your child, the forcing of people to sacrifice pork on altars. These are some of the things that kind of make people Hellenistic Jewish people, the kind of hybrid between the two of them. These are some of the laws that Antiochus IV puts in place in order to end this religious discontent. Now, if you want to talk about somebody who's totally missed the target, who has no um, idea what is actually going on, this is like, obviously, somebody who's pouring gasoline on the fire and then throwing a powder keg on top of it and then some dynamite on top of that. And before he lights the match, he puts a governor, a guy by the name of Bacchides, in charge of going around to the countryside and enforcing these laws. Bacchides is the man who's going to light the match and set off this powder keg. So Bacchides, given royal decree by Antiochus to go around to the countryside and enforce these new laws, make sure... We're weeding out who these crazy extremists are. We need a passive population in order to collect our taxes, in order to collect the goods and services and have things flowing through. We need to stamp this out. Be ruthless. Get it done. So back at ease. And I am now going to quote The Wars of the Jews by Flavius Josephus. And I may draw quite a bit, oh well, not may, I am going to be drawing quite a bit on this as we go along. So in the Wars of the Jews, quoting Flavius Josephus, talking about Bacchides and Antiochus IV, he compelled the Jews to dissolve the laws of their country and to keep their infants uncircumcised and to sacrifice swine's flesh upon the altar, against which... They all opposed themselves, and the most approved among them were put to death. Bacchides also, who was sent to keep the fortresses, having these wicked commands, joined to his known natural barbarity, indulged all sorts of the extremest wickedness, and tormented the worthiest of the inhabitants, man by man, and threatened their city every day with open destruction." till at length he provided the poor sufferers by the extremity of his wicked doings to avenge themselves. 
This, of course, describes the governor back at ease, going around to the countryside, making sure, checking the people, the children, to make sure they weren't circumcised, and if they were, putting the women and parents to death, forcing the people to sacrifice pork on altars as a symbol of their acceptance and compliance to the laws of Antiochus. He threatens the cities. You know, if you guys don't sacrifice pork, I'm going to level the city. It's as simple as that. It's A or B. There's no gray area. This is the situation. So you can imagine when this happens, you know, if somebody rolls up to your town and lines up your family, your women, your children in front of you and says, if you don't sacrifice pork on this altar, I'm going to slit the throats of your wife and children right in front of you. That's a tough decision you'd have to make. And you would imagine a great many people went and sacrificed pork on the altar. They went and kept their children uncircumcised and continued as much in secret to continue to practice their faith as best they could. And you can imagine amongst these groups of people, there were already what we would call these Hellenistic Jews who didn't care. Who said, yeah, well, they'll sacrifice pork on the altar. Well, it's just another thing. I'll go about and do that. They still followed all the other Jewish laws and customs. And when you think about that, there are Jews today who practice a lot of the Jewish faith and customs. Some of them will eat pork. Some of them will mix the cloth of their clothes. They'll eat dairy and meat together. You know, there are differing levels of people who practice Jewish faiths who still consider themselves completely and unadulteratedly Jewish. And you would imagine that this existed in the countryside today, or pardon me, back then. And they didn't care if Bacchides came and said, yeah, sacrifice pork on the altar. Sure, no problem. I'm going to do that. And let me get back to business. But there are these other people who no doubt did it under great personal stress and then continued to practice their more orthodox beliefs in private. And then there were people who undoubtedly did not do that, and so Bacchides slaughtered them. This is what was happening. And you can see this adding more gas to the fire to these um, outbreaks of violence that were already happening. There was already outbreaks of violence against these Hellenistic Jewish people. And in some cases, they may have been completely Greek colonies in farmsteads in and amongst the countryside that no doubt would have been a target as a kind of revenge after Bacchides or some of his followers and army people kind of went through the countryside. So you can see, despite their misguided intentions, this type of thing was not going to solve the problem and instead created the flashpoint for M Matthias and his sons.